Hey guys, Fix It John here. Uh, we're replacing a uh, glow plug, uh, just one glow plug, and that's number eight glow plug. And uh, I want to make, uh, I want to show you guys some things to be aware of. It's a pretty simple job. All right, guys, Fix It John. We're going to read some codes on here. Let's go down and read some codes here. There it is. P0678 cylinder eight glow plug circuit. Confirmed. You can see the engine lights on. All right, one of the things is uh, to disconnect your negative battery cable. I have that one disconnected and uh, my famous towel wrap, that one over, the, over there disconnected. And the reason why you do that is so uh, you don't short out the glow plug and uh, burn up your uh, glow plug module. Uh, you're talking big bucks if you burn that, uh, destroy your glow plug module and it lives right back there in the back there. All right guys, so if you're changing glow plugs, there's a number two glow plug, it's up front, it's accessible. Uh, the, uh, number four plug is right here and it's accessible too you don't have to take this steering column out i've gotten it i've gotten it uh or the steering shaft out i've gotten it out without doing that the number six lives right here and the number eight lives way back here right here and that's why i didn't uh disconnected that negative battery i didn't want to bump anything and uh Short the module out and roll on it and have to go to the dealer to get it, re get a new one. And, or you could put one on yourself, but unless you have the tools, you'd have to go back to the dealer and uh, relearn, uh, have it relearned. Uh, there's no manual relearning on those. I looked and searched and searched. Uh, I couldn't figure, I couldn't find any manual relearns. Uh, you'd have to take it and uh, get it hooked up to the computer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that wire off and I'm gonna test it right there. What we're checking for are ohms. Uh, there's another way you can test it with a uh, test light, but uh, you have to be able to command the, uh, you need a bi bi-directional uh, diagnostic tool and I don't have a bi-directional, I'm a poor boy, so I just have a single one way. Uh, but you need a bi-directional uh, scanning tool to, to uh, command that glow plug on and then you can test it with a test light to see if it's working. Ground by uh, grounding your test light and putting the tip on the end of that and if it glows that means the glow, the, uh, glow plug is good. I don't have that capability. I don't have bi-directional stuff so I'll have to do it with a uh, multimeter and that's just as good. Alright guys here's the number eight. Uh, I got the camera all set up for you but now I don't even know if I can get my hand in here. I'm just taking this uh, cap screw off with a, uh, I think it's an eight millimeter, six point. I can't even, there it is. There we go, see it turning? I'm just gonna loosen it up to where I can get my hand on here and I'm gonna try to uh, do a resistance test. So we'll pull this wire off here and I'll see if I can get a resistance test. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you everything here, but I'm gonna try. Put that up there out of the way. I'm hoping that's the uh, glow plug. It could be the module, but uh, I bet you it's the glow plug. That is the number eight. And let's see if I can get my big squatty hands in here. Any more than... Uh, 1.0 of resistance, it's bad. And it doesn't matter which way you have it on here. Yeah, 23, 23.1, it's, it's at a limit. Shouldn't have any more than one uh, ohms of resistance. And, and that's where you want it. You, you want it uh, right here on this nut and one right here. So I'll show you at the bench, but I'll, I'm gonna take this out and uh, I want to warn you guys that uh, if they've been in there for a while, uh, you can break them right off and breaking them off into the engine, uh, that's a whole different video. I don't want to shoot that one. Uh, I've seen some guys do it and they do it quite well, but I'm not too particularly uh, worried about this. 
because I used anti-seize when I replaced them and uh, they should unbolt right up. I, I, I mean, it's, uh, they're using uh, steel, uh, I believe they're stainless steel. Uh, they're using steel uh, glow plugs into an aluminum block and that's uh, two dissimilar metals. You wanna use a number 12 deep socket, uh, six point socket on this guys and just turn it counterclockwise. There. All right. Now, if this thing's been in here for uh, 200,000 miles without any anti-seize, it's not coming off that easy. Yeah, th this, this plug has been in here for uh, probably 100,000 miles, maybe more. I have 211, I, I think I've got it written down. It was like 75, 100,000 miles when I replaced them. But uh, be very careful. If you're doing it at 200,000 miles and they've never been out, there's a good chance you could break them off in there. And that's number eight. That's probably the hardest one to get to. And we'll take it to the bench and see what kind of uh, resistance we get. Here's the number eight plug. It's a little burnt and burnt down here at the bottom. But uh, this is an old one. And I pulled that out of number two uh, cylinder. And we're getting a good re ohm, re uh, ohm resistant reading on this one. So I'm gonna install this one. But I'm gonna show you how to do a uh, resistant uh, reading on it. We'll put that one right there in that hole. So the one on the left is the bad one. 22, 20, so uh, the resistance is way high. It, it probably wouldn't heat up at all. So let's do the known good one here. I've tested it already. And it's uh, 0 0.6. If that would be any more than uh, 1.0 ohms of resistance, it would be bad. 0 0.6 ohms of resistance. That is a good uh, glow plug. So to check your resistance on your uh, glow plug, you want to put one of your leads up here and then one down here on this nut. It'll stand still. 0, 0 0.6. Anywhere here on the body you can, you can check it. And you should have uh, less than one ohm, which we do. All right, so this bad one here, I can make it look good if I test in the wrong area. 0 0.7, 0 0.5. If you hit it, if you touch it in the wrong area, you, you, you will have continuity. So it's just all over the place, 23, 24, and this one goes all the way down to 1. So this is a good one right here, guys. That's a bad test right there, side by side. This is where you want to test it, from the top. To anywhere on the body 23 it's bad all right guys we've got any C's we're gonna put it on the threads that way this one doesn't ever freeze up to uh, freeze up to the uh, block all you need is a little bit so there Let's wipe it off a little bit a little bit too much on there that's all you need. It's in the thread. That's it. So that'll keep it from welding itself to the uh, head. All right, guys. Fix it, John. We're ready to put her in. Uh, we're going to install the uh, glow plug. Uh, this, uh, by the way, uh, if you guys are interested, uh, they want you to torque this down to eight, uh, 13 foot pounds. 13 foot pounds of torque. If you can get a torque wrench in there. So I'm going to tighten it up by hand. Got the anti seize on it. And this is at the very back of the engine here, guys. Get my 12 point or my uh, 12 millimeter six point on it. And snug it up. 13 foot pounds of torque. That's on there. We'll call that 13 pounds of torque there. I'm not cranking that little thing on there. All right, now we've got to install the uh, engine uh, wiring harness onto the glow plug, and that's this little wire right here. And we torque that down to uh, 15 pounds, 15 foot inches. Thinking about getting one of those all tails so I can relearn my own uh, fuel injection rate and all that. Keep me out of the dealership. What I'd pay for that 
for a dealership visit. Uh, I could buy one of those uh, Altels. But uh, hopefully I won't need one right away because I don't want to put any fuel injectors in here unless I have to. Or a glow plug module. All right, guys, we're going to change out to this, uh, I believe it's an 8 millimeter. I don't want that uh, wiring harness hitting the block. Uh, last time I bought these uh, glow plugs, they were like 20 bucks a piece. And I replaced them with Bosch. Better to be up against this block than this, this uh, exhaust manifold. All right, I'm happy with it. Hey guys, fix it, John here. I'm over here on the passenger side, and the reason why I'm here is uh, I just changed the uh, fuel filter, but I wanted to show you while I'm here uh, where the glow plugs are if you ever need to change them. Here you start with number one, three, five, and seven. Uh, the reason why I'm showing you this on this side is to show you how easy it is to get in on the passenger ch side and change your own uh, glow plug. All right, guys, everything is uh, just reverse procedure now, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and button it up. But if uh, I know I didn't show you how to take off the uh, wheel well cover. If you need to see that, I have another video on how to uh, change a fuel filter, and if you watch that, it'll show you how to take off this wheel well cover. Hey guys, fix it, John. I forgot to mention about uh, when you put a new glow plug in your uh, cylinder wall, uh, it may not fit, and the reason why is because all that soot and carbon has built up around that old uh, glow plug, and it's too tight to get it in there, and if you can't get it in there, don't force it. They make a tool, it's called a uh, glow plug uh, bore reamer, and you can get that online, or you can, uh, what I've done in the past is, uh, and what they've used to do is uh, spray some brake cleaner in there, and that'll get that soot out, and uh, I wouldn't put the uh, glow plug in it and w put the wiring harness on the gl glow plug and start it up, because that brake cleaner in there, it could start, a, it could uh, have a mini explosion, and uh, blow your cylinder wall out. But you could, what I've done, is start it up with the glow plug out and let all the air and uh, debris come out that uh, hole where the uh, glow plug goes in. Uh, you can do that one at a time or you can do them all at once. But whatever you do, make sure that you're, uh, you don't short your uh, har uh, glow plug harness wires on any part of the uh, vehicle. Make sure those are taped up and they're not touching anything. Otherwise, you could damage your uh, glow plug module. So I hope this helps. Uh, I forgot to mention it while putting it in there, but uh, be very careful if you do that. We've got the uh, glow plug repaired and replaced, and uh, I'm going to clear that code. So we're going to go back here. Go back one more time. We're going to go to erase codes. Press enter. Are you sure you want to erase it? Yes. Press enter. All right, code, it should be clear in any minute here. Usually takes a minute. There it goes. All right, guys. So remember, Fix It John, if you like this video, like and subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys. On to the next project.